there are a lot of options on the market for replacing your sights on your handgun. Some are geared toward competition, some are geared to self-defense, and some try to be a kind of an all-in-one solution. But there's a lot of brands out there. There are several brands that I like and that I've used over the years. But until now, I'd never really tried Ameriglow sights. I've seen them on a friend's gun, a couple of, a couple of friends actually, and, and I've been impressed with what I saw, and they've been very highly recommended. So when I thought about changing the sights out on my new Glock 35, I decided to go with Ameriglow sights. I really like these sights, and I'm certainly going to be buying more. The sights I chose are actually uh, is a pair of sights that I saw on a friend's gun, um, or at least something extremely similar to it. And this is this model or this set of sights is called the Glock Protector, and it is a blacked out rear sight with horizontal serrations to reduce glare. It's got a fairly wide notch. In fact, I'll talk about that. That's actually the one the one thing I don't like as much. Um, and then the front sight has this incredible fluorescent glowing yellow ring around a tritium dot in the center. And this entire sight just glows like crazy in ambient light. You can see it here. And then in darkness, it glows big and green with the tritium. So it is a night sight. It is a tritium night sight, which means it does not have to be charged with any kind of artificial or natural light in order for it to glow. So I also want to add, while I'm talking about Ameriglow, that like a bonehead, I went on their website, and they have a good website. You can see really great, large, detailed pictures of all of their sites that they sell. Um, it's pretty easy to find your way to the gun that you're looking for and the sites that are available for it. But like an idiot, I ordered the set of sites that wasn't exactly what I wanted. So the set, the set that I originally ordered wasn't really the ones I preferred or the ones that I wanted to have. Um, and even though that mistake was 100% mine, the great folks at Ameriglow got the other sites out to me and took the first site back. Uh, they were very great people, very easy to deal with, very no-nonsense. Installing these sites is, is pretty easy. You know, if you have the tools, that's the caveat. The rear site does require a site pusher tool. Um, like any time anytime you're going to replace the rear sight on a Glock, you need to have a tool that will push the old sight out, push the new sight in. The front sight is just a unscrew your old one, screw in the new one. And they even provided a little tool, in case you don't have one, with a little knurled handle that is the right size for the front sight. This is what the packaging looks like. Obviously, the pair of sights was in that packaging when it arrived with that tool. So it only took a few minutes to change out my original sights for these sights. They fit beautifully. The front sight and the rear sight are both steel. Very well milled. Very good quality. Great finish on them. It actually marries up to the Glock slide very well with the finish. So after I got these sights installed, I wanted to see where they hit because, you know, every time you change the sights on your gun, you could change your point of impact. Um, and I wanted to make sure that, you know, I wasn't going to have to switch to a different type of hold or, or anything like that. And man, it was just dead on. I'm going to show you some footage of that. So I'm out here today just going to, uh, I'm just going to get a feel for how I like the sights. All right, <laughs> I got to show you this without turning the camera off, no editing. I wish I had a camera on my target for a change uh, when I was shooting. I just shot 15 rounds through this Glock 35. 
let's dismount the camera here. Pardon the extreme close-up. All right. Now, I am at 10 yards. That was just off-hand shooting, as you saw. I was taking my time because I wanted to uh, get a feel for the sight picture. I wanted to get a feel for where these sights hit. So my black dot, obviously in the center of the target, was my point of aim. Now let's just see how these 15 rounds did. Not bad, huh? So that's 15 rounds. See the Glock 35, this is 40 Smith & Wesson. With the Ameriglow sights. You know what? I'll take that group all day long. This sight is, uh, so far, extremely good. It's just what I was looking for. It's, it's a nice blacked out rear. Huge glowing front sight. Super, super fast to pick up and hold on target. The only minor complaint I have, and I'll do some close-ups, but the only minor complaint I have is that the rear notch is a little wide, so you have a lot of wiggle room for your front sight. Now, that's a good news, bad news thing. Um, it's, it's not so great for fine accuracy. When you're trying to hold on on a fine point and you know, shoot that 25-yard shot, that's a, little, that's a little more play than you're going to want. Because that's the difference between hitting and missing, right? Um, however, for drawing from the holster, getting your gun on target, and making that first shot, and making follow-up shots, so I don't mind it. Again, my preference might be slightly narrower rear notch, but not really a big deal. But if that's important to you, just something to know. Ameriglow. Awesome sights top quality sights. They have a great variety of sight combinations and the quality of the product is top notch. The quality of their service is top notch. Check them out. I'll put information down below and a link to their website.